Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about conditional branch instruction. So branch instruction, uh, what the execution of those branch instruction which means it will skip some other instruction so which is uh, uh, getting after that branch instruction so it will skip all those instruction then the control will be transferred to some other place. This is what the uh, task of the branch instruction. So how the branch instruction will be executed so already we discussed and this uh, conditional branch instruction so we need to check some conditions here based upon the conditions it will execute either the branch instruction or it may not execute the branch instruction at all. So if the condition is true then that branch instruction will be executed otherwise the branch instruction will not be executed. So here we are going to discuss some of the branch instructions. So let us see one by one. So first one is branch if 0, branch if not 0, branch if carry, branch if not carry. Here B represents branch and N represents not. Uh, so which means already we discussed the status bit register. The four status bit register which are nothing but overflow, carry, sign bit and 0 bit. So this overflow which means uh, in the output if you get any overflow then this particular bit will be set to 1. If you get any carry in the output then this particular bit will be set to 1. Otherwise it must be clear to 0. And what could be the sign bit of the result? That is the most significant bit of the result. If the value of that uh, most significant bit is 0 means then sign bit is 0. It means the result is positive. If the result is negative, then obviously we will be getting the most significant bit is 1, which means the sign bit value is 1 and 0 bit value is 1 whenever your output bits all zeros. If you are getting all the bits in the output are 0, then this uh, 0 bit must be set to 1, otherwise it must be clear to 0. So based upon, we need to check the status register for every output. Uh, whatever you are getting after performing some operation and based upon the status bit register the first five branch instruction will be executed five sets which, me it, which means uh, for each and every status register we have some pairs so first one is for branch if zero next one is for branch if not zero then the other one is branch if carry if the carry is set to 1 then this branch instruction will be executed if the carry is not set to 1 then this branch instruction will be executed which means what if the carry value is 1 then this particular branch instruction will be executed if the carry value is not 1 at that time if you get this branch instruction then this will not be executed simply it will execute whatever the instruction that is uh, that uh, it has next to this branch instruction all those instruction will be executed it will omit this branch instruction even though if it executes and it will checks with the what is the value of carry and based upon the value of carry it will execute this branch instruction otherwise it will just ignore it then branch if not carry branch if positive and branch if minus these two instruction will be executed based upon the value of this sign bit if the sign bit is positive means then this particular instruction will be executed. If the sign bit is negative means then this particular instruction will be executed. Branch if minus. Branch if overflow. Branch if not overflow. And the next set of instruction. So till that we have discussed for status uh, register bits. All those instruction which belongs to the condition um, that we are checking uh, based upon the status register bits. And the next one is branch higher, branch higher or equal to, branch lower, branch lower or equal to, branch equal to, branch not equal to. The set of instruction which is used for, it is again branch instruction but it is used for comparing any two operands. If you do comparison on any two given two operands, or in that case you need to execute this branch, branch instruction branch if higher so and this set of instruction particularly suitable for unsigned values unsigned values it means uh, all the operands whatever you are using to perform any operation or those said to be positive values no negative values will be included this is what unsigned values so if you are representing any unsigned values then we are just uh, mentioning all these instructions so these instruction will belongs to unsigned uh, values and we are after uh, using that unsigned values we can perform some operation 
if you do the comparison operation on any two and sign values then this branch instruction if branch if higher higher means if first operand a is greater than b branch if higher or equal to if a is greater than or equal to b branch if lower if a is less than b branch if lower equal to if a is less than or equal to b and the next one is branch equal to branch not equal to uh, so if both operands are equal then this particular branch instruction will be executed if both operands are not equal then this branch instruction will be executed and the remaining set of branch instruction which represents signed values so if you are doing any computation with the help of signed values then these set of branch instruction must be used in order to check conditions or in order to compare any two uns uh, sorry signed values then these set of branch instruction will be used conditional branch instruction must be used so here if you are representing any two signed values then branch if greater than branch if greater than or equal to which means what your first operand must be greater than or equal to and if your first operand is less than or equal to then these two set of branch instruction will be executed so in order to differentiate both unsigned and signed values so we just mentioned the label of this instruction as branch greater whereas in unsigned values it is branch higher and in case of signed values it is branch greater branch lesser whereas in unsigned values it is branch lower and the remaining two instruction which is which are nothing but branch equal branch not equal which is very similar to unsigned representation so here branch equal branch not equal means if the given two operands are equal or not if both are equal so based upon the zero bit value we can able to check whether the given two operands are equal or not if it is zero and if you are performing subtraction on those two operands obviously your result will be zero so in that case we can tell if zero bit is set to one then we can say both operands are equal branch equal that condition will get satisfied and this this instruction will be executed that is branch equal if both operands are not same then the zero bit value is clear to zero then branch if not equal must be executed so based upon the condition whatever um, we are checking using these status register bit values these conditional branch instruction will be executed by the computer system okay so let us see one numerical example so how we are doing comparison on both signed representation as well as in unsigned representation first we have taken one example for a and b both are unsigned representation if it is unsigned representation sorry representation what could be the decimal value for this a the decimal value for this a is 240 and decimal equivalent for b is 20 if you perform a minus b then what is the result you will get 240 minus 20 which is nothing but 220 let's we check whether you are getting same result in binary representation so in order to perform a minus b so a value must be as it is that is 1110000 and b value must be b complement plus 1 if you take two's complement of b so what is the result you are getting so for example if you take two's complement your result will be 1101011000 1, so this is actually the value for b's two's complement and afterwards for subtracting a minus b so we need to add this two values so if you add these two values 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 and again 1 and you are getting one carry so here also you are getting carry and uh, c8 in the place of c7 uh, you are getting one and in the place of c8 also it is one which means what the last two carry values we need to mention what is the last two carry values in order to find out whether overflow bit is one or not this already we discussed in the last video so if this overflow bit can be set or it will be clear to zero based upon the values of c7 and c8 because you have to perform xor operation between these two c7 xor with c8 so whatever the result you are getting based upon so this overflow bit value will be either set to 1 or it will be clear to 0 so here you are getting the result as both are 
if you perform XOR operation on any two same values then your result will be zero so here as per this example overflow bit value is zero there is no overflow okay and finally this could be the result so what is the most significant bit that is one so yes value is one and what is z value z value is zero because you are not getting any zero values i mean all the bits or must be zero then only z value will set to one if your output is zero then z value will be set to one otherwise it is zero here the output is not zero so we are just having the zero z value as zero and what is the c value c value you need to check from c8 C8 value is the final carry value you are getting after performing this operation in the output. So C8 value is one. So C value is one. So V value is zero. C value is one. S value is one. Z value is zero for this particular example. And we have represented in unsigned values. Suppose if you are taking in signed complement, sorry, signed representation. So what about the result? We need to check it. If you are taking the same example, okay. So if you are taking the same example, for example, a value is, a value is one 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 zero 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 zero. So what is the b value, which is nothing but binary equivalent, is two forty in case of unsigned. But in case of signed representation, so we need to check if you change into two's complement. So what could be the value after? Performing two's complement for this a, so based upon that we need to check in signed value because your most significant bit is one. So we need to consider what is the most significant bit if it is in signed representation. So it is one. So it is of negative value. So it is minus sixteen. And b value is so since the most significant bit is zero, so it is positive values three zero one zero one zero zero. So if you perform a minus b, so actually if you perform a minus b, so what will be the result you have to get? For example, minus sixteen minus plus twenty. So what is the result you will get? It should be minus thirty six. So you need to check whether you are getting the same value in case of binary representation. So if you perform Uh, addition or a minus b. So what is the uh, thing? So you have uh, in the previous operation we got the result as one one zero one 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 zero zero. If you take two's complement for this value, so obviously that value will be equivalent to minus thirty six. If you perform zero zero one zero 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 one one, adding one with that zero zero one. Zero zero one zero zero. So what is the decimal value for this? Which is nothing but thirty six, and it is minus thirty six, isn't it? So here this is actually two power two, and this is two power four. So if you add these two weight codes of values, then obviously you will be getting the answer that is minus thirty six. So this is how we can able to. performed uh, comparison operation on both the representation one is for signed and another one is for unsigned representation so i hope you can understand what is conditional branch instruction and how to perform the comparison operation on both the representation and how we are getting the result uh, so based upon the status uh, register bit how we can able to execute the branch control instructions thank you